At the end of the day, everybody's a human being. And um, for me, the clients walk through the door for business, entrepreneurial, professional inquiry. Um, some people who reach out to me in the executive domain is that there's, they've struggled with a behavioral issue or basically their job was on the line if they didn't get their act together. So um, that's what gets them through the door. But one of the things in common with the people that reach out to me, I, I would say, is a deeper, uh, a deeper issue than what you know, they pick up the phone with, so to speak. And, um, and it's always the, the most common, it, it, it's the same across the board. You know, I tell everybody, uh, everybody that calls me has the same problem, and it's them. You know, and it's just getting them out of the way. So th that's really, really it. Now, the people that um, tend to call me are business owners or professionals. Um, and uh, there's two types that pick up the phone. One is the guy or gal who is underperforming. They know they could do better but they're bewildered why they're not doing better you know and so they have dreams and aspirations and they're wanting uh, more or less of something and so they're really struggling they're kind of like they, they they know they can do better and they're thinking well maybe some outside perspective maybe I have some blind spots maybe uh, maybe uh, somebody could help um, a lot of times what's funny about the people and I let them know when they come people are so funny these days with the internet they, um, I call them they WebMD themselves, okay? <laughs> so, so they come in with um, their self-diagnosed self -diagnosed, and yeah. they say, coach, this is what I need. And I'm like, you have no idea what you need. That's why you're here, okay? Right. So I have to get them off of that right away. You know, because they don't know. Why would you go to a doctor or physician and tell them, hey, here's what's wrong with me, fix me. Right. You know, and, and that's the innocence of professionals and with all the information out there and all the self-help books and self-help uh, tips. So um, if anybody listening, I would say go and talk to the coach, but keep an open mind, you know, because right. there's way more on offer than you even know what's on offer mm -hmm. on, on the menu. So so the first type of person is the person who is underperforming and they want to do better. And so they're kind of suffering or struggling because of that. And then the other uh, person that I get is the person who's gotten everything they want. They've reached all their goals, they've got the cars, they've got everything they could have dreamed of, of, and they're scratching their head because they can't figure out why their inner experience isn't matching up with uh, the conditional uh, success uh, milestones that they uh, thought would guarantee them the inner experience and so it's not lining up and those are the people who are in much worse shape than the first one but in many respects they're both uh, struggling or suffering from what I would call an esoteric uh, question or issue so often people are stirred to call somebody or a coach because they have a pain or a problem and um, uh, secondly they will come to realize that uh, they're struggling with a psychological problem. And thirdly, uh, they'll realize that there's actually a deeper uh, philosophical problem that they're dealing with. And that is what is life? What is happiness? Sure. What does it mean to be a human sure. being? What does it mean to be a leader? Uh, what does it mean to be a coach? What does it mean to be a parent or father? That they're struggling with deeper philosophical questions that um, unfortunately, most of the training out there is not dealing with. So that's what I deal with.